Doctor, yeah. we're talking about uh, pediatric uh, hypertension, uh, right. hypertension in children. Right. For the first rattle out of the box, what is hypertension? Well, hypertension or high blood pressure is a condition where the uh, tension or the pressure in the blood vessels, thinking of that as kind of like a garden hose, um, is too high. Okay. Um, how common a problem is high blood pressure in children? Uh, about uh, five out of a hundred children have high blood pressure, which is the same as saying about one in 20 children. Is, is that a, a number that's growing? Is, is that it is increasing. It's increasing for a variety of reasons, uh, the first of which is most likely due to the increase in childhood obesity because we know that obesity is very closely linked with high blood pressure. And the other reason is that we're really paying a lot more attention to this being a real problem. And so that also causes the incidence to go up when we start to make the diagnosis more frequently. If you're looking for it, you find it. Exactly. Got it. Exactly. What is a normal blood pressure range for a child? Well, that varies greatly based on the age of the child, the gender of the child, and the body mass index, which is measurements that we do that correlate weight and height. But the typical preschooler would have a blood pressure of maybe 90 over 50. And the typical almost grown adolescent might have a blood pressure in the 100s over 60s or 70s. But as a rule of thumb, when children get to be near grown or in the adolescent age range, any blood pressure of 100 over 80 or higher is considered borderline. And we do identify those children as being prehypertensive. What do the two numbers mean? The top number is the systolic blood pressure. That's the amount of pressure that the blood vessel is putting uh, when it's at its highest or at the time that the heart is pumping that blood through and then the diastolic pressure is the number on the bottom which is the relaxation phase of the pressure and that's the lower number. Okay. How do I know if my child has high blood pressure? Are there any symptoms? Well, you might not know. Most people don't know that their, chi that their child has high blood pressure. Um, very rarely do young children exhibit any signs or symptoms of high blood pressure uh, unless they've got a very significant underlying illness that may cause them to have very significant high blood pressure and then over time they would become sick with it uh, like with a headache or kidney failure or something that would make it very obvious. What would cause my child to develop high blood pressure in the first place? Most of the time in children, um, high blood pressure is caused by something else, another medical problem that is going on with a child that is causing the blood vessels to have high pressure. Uh, the most common of those would be, for example, obesity, as we've mentioned earlier, and um, kidney disease. Kidney disease is by far the most common uh, cause of secondary high blood pressure in children. Other than heart disease, how does high blood pressure affect children? Well, the issue with high blood pressure, as in adults, is that it causes damage um, to our end organs, such as the kidneys, the brains, the retina in the eye, the muscles, um, the stomach, the intestines. Um, virtually every organ in your body uh, is going to be affected and potentially damaged by high blood pressure. So a child might develop difficulty with their vision. They might develop a headache. They might develop uh, signs of kidney failure or problems with their digestion um, or swelling of their hands and feet. Uh, different signs of evidence of end organ damage just like in adults. 
And you may have answered this question with that answer. What is the long-term impact on a child with high blood pressure? It's the same as in adults. It's just the timing. Um, for example, if a child is born prematurely for a variety of reasons, they might be at increased risk of having high blood pressure. And that might not be identified until they're in the preschool or school age years when they've had the problem for several years. And oftentimes we see end organ damage, such as coronary artery disease or kidney uh, disease that has occurred already in the early years of life. We've got a child with high blood pressure, how do we treat it? Well, the, we talk mainly about in children, we wanna stay away from medicines if it's at all possible. So we talk about the non-pharmacologic treatments, things that we can do that don't involve using medicines. So You're talking about antihypertensives right. or diuretics or right. things of that exactly. nature? Right, exactly. Okay. All right. Um, so things that we can do without using drugs include, um, for example, for overweight or obese children, the recommendation would be to lose weight. Uh, other things that we call therapeutic lifestyle changes, or TLC, might include monitoring or changing their diet, their activity level, reducing their stress level, um, reducing, increasing their access to being able to go outside and play, uh, reducing their access to things like sugar-sweetened beverages. So these are all very simple strategies that can have a huge impact on the general health and the blood pressure of young children. All things being equal, uh, all other factors being equal, how much will weight loss affect blood pressure? Uh, if you can get someone that's a young child that is obese into the range of normal body mass index, you could very possibly cause their high blood pressure to resolve, to okay. go away by All itself. Right. Well, thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.